I was very small. I had a, when I was preparing for this program, I had a daughter say she was not born during the war. Mm. And I think those who were born after independence, they are part of the problem we have to do post independent children. <laughs> <laughs> like now, <Nami, Nami. laughs> you people are the problems. I would say most of you contribute to the problem because of your ambition. But for those of us, I was very young, very young under 10 during the war. There was a night, I have to repeat it, to tell you the spirit behind Biafra. There was a night the Nigerian forces bombarded our area. I was small, I didn't do, I saw it as fun. That morning in school, we we're having our school under the trees. So the headmaster came that morning and called for prayers for God to help Biafra defeat Nigeria. I was at the bank on the line, about five lines or so. I raised up my hand after the prayer. He said, yes, I will come here. I said, headmaster, the God we have just prayed to help Biafra defeat Nigeria, is it the same God Nigeria is praying to help them defeat Biafra? I was not given the answer. I was given 12 strokes of the can. And I could not go to school for two weeks. My father was a teacher. When he came back, he took it up. I recall how I was carried in a bicycle to the Divisional Educational Board, apologized to. That was when I saw the exercise book for the first time. They gave me exercise book, gave me crayon, gave me cleaner, gave me pencil, and they explained to me that the cause of Biafra was just. That was why God will hear their prayer. That was the explanation. Of the, I was young, I was small, but I didn't know anything. But uh, just a minute, let me not lose my thoughts. You see, let us look at those issues. In a country where you have different tribes, different groups in a country, you must give them accommodation. Look at what happened in Scotland. Scotland at the time wanted to leave. So UK was uncomfortable. They gave them accommodation. They did a referendum, it failed because they had been accommodated. You listen to them. Today, they now occupy the Scottish seats in the parliament. Their voice is being heard. Netherlands, the other time, celebrated their 100 years of freedom. When Scotland went, was doing this, the British government did not see, send British naval uh, authorities to fight them. Rather, they discussed with them. So where you have different tribes,